Hi, this is Mike Maloney. I wanted to comment on Janet Yellen and the speech that she just gave at the World Affairs Council. I just watched this, and boy, was it a giant snooze. Basically, you know, her predecessor, uh, well, Ben Bernanke's predecessor, Alan Greenspan, used to try to obscure information and make sure that nobody can make heads or tails of what he's saying by using something called Greenspeak. You would sit there for an hour and become absolutely paralyzed. You'd get this mental paralysis because of the words he would use and circular logic that would make it so that you really couldn't understand what he was saying. He didn't want to convey information to the markets. He didn't want to let Congress really know what he was doing. But Janet Yellen's tactic is to bore you to death. This was an hour of just a sheer snooze. I mean, basically, I think her tactic is by the time that she feeds you little tiny morsels of what could potentially be information that you could use, hopefully by that time you are comatose. (laughs) But there's a fundamental disconnect here. Alan Greenspan came out recently and in, in very plain language said that the demographic problem is probably the chief important issue of the day, that there's nothing more important than the baby boom generation needing to retire in the next several years and not enough workers behind them to support them and all of the social policies that we have, social security and all of the entitlements and that the promises that we have going out into the future that he said can't possibly be met. Now, Janet Yellen thinks that we're going to achieve this 2% inflation target and, and that things are going to be all right again. And if you're listening to Alan Greenspan, the conclusion is that that's just not possible. (laughs) And so there's a big disconnect here. But on Friday, there was a jobs report that came out that was absolutely abysmal. And that will give the Fed the excuse to not raise rates because her message here was basically, yeah, well, we want to raise rates and we think we're going to raise rates, but we might not raise rates because it's data dependent. And so now they've got the excuse to not raise rates. But uh, to give you an idea of what went on, she read her speech for a while, looked up at the audience, read her speech some more, read her speech some more, and looked up at the audience again. And this would repeat (laughs) over and over. It was uh, pretty bad.